There's a corporate war going on between Google Workspace as well as the Microsoft 365 apps. And as you can see, today we're going to compare these two giants. We have everything lined up on Google Workspace from Gmail, Calendar, Chat, Keep, Drive, Meet, as well as bonus apps that they provide, followed by Microsoft 365, all of their apps, pros and cons, as well as their bonus apps. So please stay tuned and enjoy this great battle between two and please share with your corporate IT whoever wants to decide to work with Microsoft or Google and we're going to go in depth and see which one wins. It is going to be a fierce battle between Google and Microsoft who conquers the corporate space. For anyone who's looking for consumer advice please close the video and walk away because we're going to go deep down into Google Workspace and Office 365. I work for a company where I used uh, Microsoft 365 for over two years and finally switched to Google using it over one year. And today we're going to break it down. Uh, the icons you see on my right are Outlook, Teams, Excel, Word Presentation, OneNote. And on the left is all Google, starts with Gmail, chat calendar keep drive meet and google docs so we're going to get into one uh, one by one and understand what's the pros of and cons of each one of them so let's start with gmail so what's the uh, pros of gmail the pros of gmail is that it is totally online uh, and again uh, you can log in from virtually any pc without any authentication app and you can access your emails uh, and everything. <clears throat> the other thing is, because it's online, it's virus proof uh, that your laptop cannot get a virus. I'm not talking about the app itself. And uh, the other thing is the layout is very nice. It's uh, very well done. Uh, and you have some extensions that you can add to Gmail to make it more productive. What is the cons that we have for Gmail? It's that it's no offline apps. Uh, and what the other thing is privacy. You don't know what sort of telemetrics are gathered by Microsoft. And that's where the danger lies. Uh, if it's corporate network, I don't really understand how it works, but uh, it does uh, add a benefit that uh, if it's corporate, there should be some better uh, checks in place. Uh, if we come at the uh, calendar app, so this is uh, the second part. Uh, before I, I think before we go into calendar, let's go back to Outlook. So how does Outlook compare to Gmail? Outlook, the first thing is that's online. It has an offline app plus an online. And again, you know, the, the, the issue with online, uh, if you come down cons is, they keep on updating constantly updating uh, and there's always these betas and everything coming up that doesn't happen with Gmail what is the other thing uh, again uh, like you know it's uh, it's not virus proof so we're gonna put it down over here that the cons are that if your laptop is infected with virus it can compromise your account uh, the other thing with Outlook was that it had an integrated uh, calendar built into it. So integrated calendar, you don't need to have separate apps for it. And uh, as well as uh, it's uh, easy to learn, uh, easy to learn. People have experience uh, for Gmail. Also, we can add that that's easy to learn. So Cons coming switching back to Outlook. What are the cons? And the interface was outdated. It was quite outdated for at least the offline version. The online keeps on getting updated. Now we move towards the Google Workspace uh, Pros calendar, and that you can add it as a shortcut on Gmail, uh, as well as it's uh, very powerful. Uh, you want to set timings, uh, meetings, it's, 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 it's very nice. 
what what's the cons for calendar it's that no offline app uh, the other con of calendar I've noticed is that it is too detailed you need to add each and every what time you start what time you don't start what time you're working hybrid what time you're in office it just feels like you need to set a lot lot of things to get everything to work uh, if you come to calendar in uh, pros is that uh, it is also integrated with teams so you have a teams integration uh, for all of your meets into you can see integrated with teams outlook uh, and that's what made it uh, powerful you know one app controls all and we're going to talk more about that once we come into the mobile apps down uh, the other thing uh, I didn't really have any issue uh, uh, the cons what are the cons the cons is outdated interface interface so there's something to be moved on and again uh, the pros can be it's simple it's simple it doesn't need extra details timings it you just simply see if someone's available or not available let's move on to google uh, chat and the pros is it's online it's everywhere and uh, recently uh, regular updates updates uh, keep on improving uh, the interface so what are the cons of chat uh, no offline app and again most of you will start arguing with me that okay let's stop the video uh, it's uh, basically online offline now I'm gonna get to the other uh, side and explain why it helps uh, for people uh, who are in remote locations you know they don't have network so they rely on offline data screenshots something uh, in their hand and uh, whether it be oil rigs some government uh, places areas so it's very very important to have those offline apps chat to be honest i didn't find anything bad with it so now uh, it's pretty good uh, interface so i'll just add up that inter interface is very nice interface is very nice it has space uh it has spaces it has uh, group chats so it's all good uh when we come to teams over here is a battle of gladiator versus gladiator this is a great app it works both offline and online uh, that's great uh, the, other, the other thing with teams is that uh, people just learn uh, there's no learning curve uh, because people have been using it or we can just delete it you know because corporate people they understand how to do it the other thing is about uh, teams is everything is integrated uh, you can have meeting links sent out uh, you can do the same do with chat, but it's a separate app. It's meet So over here everything is integrated into one app. What are the cons? I hate the interface of it uh, You know uh, the especially the it's not the navigation bar uh, the top bar It's too big and it's too ugly the text uh, zooms, you know according to Windows for the other apps uh, It just stays, you know, uh, it gives control inside the app uh, let's come to keep what is a pros pros is it's simple and you can add labels for any classification everything is online uh, the cons are you can't do like pages or or sheets or inking I'm not sure about inking because again it's a corporate laptop but uh, one note one of the most powerful things is that it has uh, great apps all around uh, and again, we'll come down and talk about that. So what's it? It's online and offline. Uh, it ha interface is very nice, uh, but the cons is huge learning curve. Uh, we can come up and add inking to the pros. Uh, let's move to drive. And over here, again, you get unlimited storage uh you have offline and online so that's one of the best things about drive that it has an offline app but subject to your admin the cons are the offline offline app dependent on it so every company doesn't have that feature 
Uh, the other cons is that uh, it's a lot of drag and drop uh, because you don't have an offline app so it doesn't work always so OneDrive again it's unlimited for corporates the cons is that uh, there are multiple apps uh, I can say there's at least two apps apps currently and uh, the thing is it acts like an actual physical drive so that's what makes it so powerful you know if you have that offline mode uh it it, it just uh makes things very easy uh one thing that i didn't talk about is sharing so sharing i will add for both uh you can just share cross uh users and these both apps are very very powerful uh OneDrive again it does have a lot more uh, to do in uh, in terms of SharePoint you can do a lot of links SharePoint I'll just put a dot uh, for Drive uh, again as my company is still transitioning so I'm not really sure on what exactly it is maybe a future video to talk about it what is the cons of OneDrive uh, yeah I don't see any uh, coming to meet and uh, <clears throat> it's simple to use you have all your meetings scheduled shown on on your on your home screen so we can say home screen uh, what are the cons cons are that uh, it's a separate app unlike teams uh even though their mobile apps are all in one however their uh workspace is different apps uh some can argue yeah they have a tab you know where it shows google chat but again it's missing out a lot of the other apps like uh drive uh keep and other things you know so it's not that simple we can't just rely on three ta uh, three apps you know uh, I think it's Gmail, chat, and meet. Uh, again, I'm not really sure. Uh, so we're going to come back to Teams. So the rival of uh, meet is Teams. And again, as we mentioned above, that it's uh, all in all one app that uh, is very powerful. Uh, for apps, Android and Apple, it has an excellent support, excellent apps. And the same can be said about the Microsoft they have excellent support other than the windows 10 mobile so i i am a user of the windows 10 mobile and we had teams outlook uh i thought one way microsoft would have kept was that uh to keep their microsoft services running on their phones but it's shut down uh teams nothing works but as long as apple and android excellent apps uh, again, for a deep dive into apps, please comment below and we can check out their apps. Uh, in terms of laptop, Ubuntu, again, everything works online. Everything's good. Uh, online, Mac, again, I don't have Mac, so I don't know. Windows, uh, Windows also, everything is online. If we come to laptop apps on ubuntu everything works online for mac os again it's a question mark i i, I didn't use it uh, for windows everything works online as long as well as offline so what is the bonus with each of these uh, like professional suites so you get uh, with google you get the assistant you get the search the famous search uh, you get uh, on 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 the microsoft you get copilot cortana i think cortana was a great app it was very very poorly executed by microsoft they should have added a button uh, to long press long press uh, search button to initiate a voice search but again it's done it's busted copilot is here uh, i don't have windows 11 so i'm not sure how good or bad it is I did try to use it on Edge, but again, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time. Uh, for search, they have Bing, they have ChatGPT, so that's the con. Chat, 
GPT. Again, this is away from uh, the corporate uh, life you have borrowed for Google. This is just bonus. What do you get if you get the these packages? I don't know if it's safe or it's not safe, but you do get that. And uh, for news, uh, you get uh, Google News. For over here, you get Start or MSN News. Uh, you get Jamboard. Uh, to do some like notes uh, with Microsoft, you get these awesome apps, journal, whiteboard. These are lovely. The only place where Google kills is YouTube. They have a very nice video streaming platform and Microsoft has nothing. So they don't have anything. Uh, there's a lack of Microsoft services. You know, uh, they rely on Google and Apple services, even for push notifications on Apple on the, on the phones. And, uh, guys there you have it uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, please let me know if you want to see more such content and i'll be happy to do more please don't forget to like subscribe share this video with corporates who are looking who are on the edge to decide whether they want to go google or microsoft and uh, we are here to make your life easy thank you if you're enjoying this content please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll be showing you lots and lots of awesome videos all about Linux, Ubuntu, Windows and hopefully Mac in the future along with all the mobile operating systems. So please subscribe to your Epic Gadget Guy. Hope to see you on the next one.